Alrighty, today we're going to show how to switch between Chrome OS and Ubuntu on a CR48 Google Notebook. You can see this is Chrome. No, you, uh, you browse the web. It's pretty much all you do. And uh, you can switch between pages. Yeah, it's basically all you can do. So, here is how you boot into Ubuntu if you install it. And how slick it is and useful. So all I need to do is turn it off. Turn off your notebook. Shut it down. Take off your little battery cover. Now let me get some extra light on this. Um, now there's a little switch, right? switch right there. So if you flip that switch to the left, you boot to Ubuntu. So let's flip that switch right now. Oh, you can't see this. Finger right over here. Yeah, this is going to be a little interesting. Flip the switch. Like that. You can't tell me that. You can't tell any difference, but it's flipped. You do is put back in your battery here. Like this, put it down. Like this, put it down. Open it up, automatically boots. And it boots into a OS verification recovery. Say control D. Just a quick little run of code. There you go. You're in Ubuntu. You can do pretty much anything you want to. It's quick, quick to boot. Terminal pops up quick. Chrome pops up quick. What do you think? You can see. You get your full listing, all your files. Internet works, even Bluetooth works, which you don't get in Chrome yet. Um, show you that sound, well, sound, you definitely know how sound works, but we'll just show a quick video here. Yeah, runs absolutely surprisingly good on this low single core processor but there you go that is Bungie you can load up a gadget or something and uh, you know it's a little sluggish but way more useful than Chrome for a more power user and I highly recommend it. Basically, everything works. Um, you know, trackpad works. If you want to right click, all you do is click right click on the or click on the bottom right. You know, it's a right click. Currently, multi I haven't looked into multi touch yet, but you probably can get it enabled. Everything else works. Internet, uh, Wi-Fi, no sound. Basically, everything you need. USB works perfectly fine. The meter reader works as well. Um, I have a 2 gig SD in here. And let me just mount it real quick. Um, yeah, it takes forever to read it though. There we go. And see it reads it. It's got one picture on there. Let's see, pretty good performance. Yeah, and that is Ubuntu on Chrome OS. And uh, shut down. Show you what shutdowns like. There we go. It's off.